<coughs> Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. What Hello, Larissa. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Sylvia. Good evening. Okay, good. We have five. Let's see who else is coming in. Eh, teacher, pido disculpas ayer, pero fíjese que el internet, es, eh, tengo mal a mi computadora, entonces va a disculpar y no oh. me pude conectar. Pero okay. ya, ya, primero Dios, ya, ya vamos aquí. Ya, Gracias. Ya. Fixing, fixing the problem. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I said it was a terrible day for me to, with the okay. internet. Yes, it's okay. Thank you for informing, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Just let me share. Okay, how many we have? Seven, eight. Okay, we're gonna wait for two more and then I'll show you the... Remember that today we're going to have some quick practice in groups. But first I want to show you this video. Hurt. Se usa como verbo y significa doler, herir. Es un verbo irregular. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Se usa para cualquier tipo de dolor, sea físico o emocional. My arm hurts. Okay. If you say, for example, donde te duele, you're going to use. Where does it hurt? Where does it hurt? Look at this phrase in Spanish. We say, me estás haciendo daño, me estás lastimando. We also use in Spanish. You are hurting me. Okay, you are hurting me. You are hurting me. My arm hurts. Where does it hurt? You are hurting me. Don't hurt his feelings. Ache. Okay, don't hurt his feelings. Okay, these are different ways that you can use hurt okay feelings ache <clears throat> como verbo significa doler y como sustantivo dolor verbo regular ache ached equivale a un dolor constante the child complained of an ache in his stomach Okay, you know, this is constant, like when we say that we have a headache, right? Uh, it's constant. Sometimes, uh, you probably, uh, what happens if you get a, a shot? Si se pone una inyección. Is an ache or hurts? Usaríamos hurt or ache? Hello. Okay, teacher, repeat this question. Cake. I think uh -huh. cake. Si se ponen una ¿qué usarían? Hurts. O usarían uh, ache. Eight. Here says. Y vale a un dolor constante. Ache es un dolor constante. Una inyección produce un dolor constante. 
No, tendríamos que usar hurt. Ajá. Por eso es que there are some people, hay personas que le tienen miedo a las inyecciones, right? Porque dicen, duele, it hurts. Pero solo es un ratito, le dice la gente, okay? No, yeah, but probably hurts, but only some seconds, okay? But when you have a headache, it's probably one hour, two hours, it depends. If it is migraine, it's a migraña más, right? So for some people, okay? So that's why there is a difference. The child complained of an ache in his stomach. After the workout, my whole body ached. I have a headache and a stomach ache. She has a toothache and a backache. Pain. Como verbo significa doler y como sustantivo dolor. Expresa un dolor debido a una herida, enfermedad o problemas emocionales. Okay. I have a pain in my leg. I was in pain after the accident. Okay, this is, I was in pain after the accident is, or the post or, or post operation. Probably sometimes people have also muchos dolores, right? Después de una operación o un accidente. I was in pain after the accident. It pains me to admit it, but you were right. It pains me to see how they treat him. Okay, esto es como en un sentido figurado. Me duele admitirlo, right? That you were right. Pero tenía esta zona. Right? This is como el ego, right? In some cases. It pains me to see how they treat him. Me duele ver cómo te tratan, cómo lo tratan, right? Okay, so you see these are other ways to use pain. Sore. Se usa como sustantivo. Significa dolor, irritación. En general, se refiere a la garganta, pero tiene más aplicaciones. Sore throat. <clears throat> I have sore throat. The sore on my lip is killing me. My legs are sore. Okay. My legs are sore. And the other one. Want to show you is this one. Use the word ache when describing some kind of pain. I have a headache. My head aches. I have a toothache. My tooth aches. I have a stomach ache. I have a, a back ache. I have an earache. My ear aches. The word ache uses a K sound. Ache. Tooth ache. Stomach ache. You can also use the word pain. I have a pain in my stomach. I have a pain in my back. Or use the word hurt. My back hurts. My head hurts. I hurt my knee. I injured my knee. I hurt my back. I injured my back. I hurt my hand. I injured my hand. Okay, these are expressions in Islam. This is like informal. Uh, the, the other one, the ones that we are, the que le hemos visto ahorita son formal. Maneras formales de usarlo, right? This ones, van a haber tres o cuatro oraciones que son de una manera bien informal, como lo diríamos quizás en español, right? 
I did something to my knee. Okay, suena bien vago. En general, I did something. Me hice, me, me hice algo en la rodilla. I don't know, but it hurts. Okay? Very general. I screwed up my back. Ay, me tragué la espalda. Right? I messed up my hand. Similar. I totally wasted my arm. Okay. So this is for you to see about, I feel aches and pains. I have a backache. I have a sore throat. I have an ear ache. So I have sore, sore eyes because I am in front of the TV or in front of the computer all day. Okay. So these are different ways to use them. All right. Now that we have Okay, we're going to have a little practice using a word, for example, like, suppose I say, Dinora, how are you? And then Dinora says, oh, I have a headache, I have a backache. Yes, Dinora, or not? No? Huh? Okay, and then I said, okay, Dinora, whenever I have a headache, I uh, I take two aspirins, okay? I take two aspirins. Then you take the two aspirins and uh, don't, don't watch too much TV. Don't read too much. Uh, some recommendations, right? Don't... Uh, the, uh, don't stay up late, uh, go to bed early, drink a lot of water, ice your forehead, póngase hielo en la cabeza, okay, or compresa, they say, right? Ice your forehead, okay, put some ice, all right? So, eso es lo que van a practicar ahorita en los grupos, right? Uh, I have a headache, I have a backache, and then the other person will say, hey, whenever I have this, that's it, lo que uno hace, okay? Y luego van a usar imperatives. Don, ¿qué no se debe hacer? O ¿qué se debe hacer para sentirse mejor, right? Don, if I have a backache, don't do exercise. Don't do too much exercise, okay? And then Leonardo says, okay. But um, probably you can use the chat. Let me see, Leonardo, if you can be in a group with three, at least to listen, to listen, okay? Let me see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to create the session. Sex rules. Okay, intercambiar, yes. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, Leonardo, you're gonna be in a group with three, but at least, you know, listen while the others, or you can write in the chat if you want to ask. Okay, here we go.
Okay, uh, we have Okay, Gabriela or TPAA, did you get the invitation? Yes. I connect. Huh? Uh, me acabo de conectar, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Por eso no estoy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will send to perfect to here. Okay, there you go. I have a headache. What can I do? In I have one pistol and I'll. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an idea, okay? For example, uh, suppose, Josabeth, how are you today? I am not so good. Okay, what's the problem? I have a headache. Okay, good. Uh, well, uh, Josabeth, when I have a headache or whenever I have a headache, I go to the doctor. Okay, uh, or I take some uh, Tylenol, okay? Uh, you know, uh, don't, don't stay up late, okay? Don't watch too much TV, don't chat too much because that hurts. The, the person that will make your eyes hurt. And let me see what else. And that's it, right? So these are recommendations and you are telling the person what you feel, okay? okay. So that you can practice like that, right? So Dinora, how are you today? Hello, Dinora. Teacher, I'm fine. What do you say in English? Hello. Sorry? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, fine. Do huh? you okay. say in English, eh, oh, calor? Hot. It's hot. Okay, it's hot. Today is hot. Okay, good. They say it's hot. They say, you know, whenever, whenever it is hot, I drink a lot of water. Okay, I drink a lot of water and I try to relax. Whenever it's hot, I drink a lot of water and I try to relax. Or uh, whenever it's hot, I drink water and I have a fun. Okay? So these are recommendations. Don't, uh, don't wear black clothes. Okay? Don't wear uh, probably jeans. Wear shorts. Who we'll say shorts? Okay, or wear, wear light clothes. Utiliza ropa liviana, right, ligera. So these are recommendations, okay? So this is where you have to practice, okay? Okay. Okay, continue practicing. Okay, you can create a conversation. Es, S O R E, es decir que no duele la garganta. Ajá. Entonces, entonces, este, siempre preguntaríamos, where does it hurt? ¿Dónde te duele? Uh -huh. Y responderíamos, I sure, hasta ahí. Me duele la garganta. Teacher. No, depends. O sea, uh, the, the answer is, where does it hurt? ¿Dónde le duele, right? You say, Ajá, I, si have, solo... I have a sore throat. I have? A sore throat. 
Okay. Uh -huh. I have a headache. Okay. okay. I have a backache. I have an earache. Dolor de oídos. I have an earache. Uh, I have a toothache. Pero si solo quiero decir que me duele la garganta. Sore throat. Sure. I, have a, I have a sore throat. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a sore throat. Okay, for example, Esther, how are you today? I'm I'm fine, but I have a, a hurt. Uh huh. Where? In my wrist. Okay, but my wrist hurts. Okay, yes, then it's like hurts. whenever I have a pain in my wrist, I go okay. to the doctor. Or I call okay. the doc or I call the doctor. Or I apply okay. I apply a muscle muscle cream. Okay. okay. Son varias recomendaciones Thank you. que ustedes pueden dar, right? Y después okay. pueden dar algunas recomendaciones like uh, don't do exercise with this hand. Don't lift heavy things, no levante cosas pesadas. Uh, what else? Don't uh, don't play basketball. Okay, don't play sports. Okay. Don't play cellular. <laughs> uh, don't yes. Don't chat too much. Okay. Because, uh, you're just in your. Aquí hace mucho ejercicio. It's my uh, case. It's your case. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's everybody's case. <laughs> Estamos todos. All right. Okay. Good. Okay. Continue practicing. Okay. 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 <laughs> Ache. Ache. I have a stomach and it's... Okay, yeah, yeah, teacher. Okay, oh, teacher. Ah, continue, continue, continue. Nice. Hey, no, continue. Continue. Está bueno que estamos ahí. No, it's okay. It's good. El video no lo logré captar todo, pues es solo... Ah, lo voy, le, ya le voy a poner el link. Ah, sí, por favor, porque así lo podemos, para lo podemos que lo ver. Sí. Ok, good. Any questions? Uh, mm. Question. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, but for example, uh, el heart decía usted que era para dolor eh, general, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. O, un, o un dolor momentáneo. Así ajá, le entendí. Ajá, también. Yes. O sea, hurts. O uh -huh. sea, un dolor así como, como que ya me pasó, pero, o sea, uh -huh. o okay, que, digamos, cuando... Um, entonces, ah, me dolió, digamos, en la pie, o sea, me, 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 me golpeé la pierna, algo así. Ajá. Ejemplo, hurts. Que, ajá, cabal, cuando uno se levanta sin zapatos y pega en la esquina de la mesa. Sí. Ah, no. Hurts. Entonces, hurts. It hurts. Ajá, pero es un par de un par de minutos oh, uh -huh. it hurts. pero eh, digamos un, pero el un headache ache. ajá un headache es un dolor de cabeza que puede para pasar una hora dos horas depende ¿vale? entonces ache ajá this is, si alguien está bien ache. enfermo con gripe o dengue cuestiones así es days es son ache. días ajá es un ache ajá okay. no, es un dolor de cuerpo que dura días es, con, es constante constante que uh -huh. ache, ache or pain, okay? Ah, también pain. Sí, pain, pain también. es también general, pues. Sí, pero ese es, pero también permanente. Todo el, pero el pain se ocupa como, como, como en forma plural, ¿no? Muchos dolores, no. Eh, no, es igual que el ache. So then you have a pain in my head. Have ¿Puedo ache. decir ache o pain? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I have no, a pain no. in my soul. In my soul, in el alma. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, yes. I have a pain. Uh -huh. Esos son como sentidos como sentido figurados, ¿verdad? Ah, Perfect. sí, 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 claro, uh -huh. claro, claro. Pero, sí, sí. Yes, you can use that one. Or you can uh -huh. say, my soul hurts. Hurts. Mm -hmm. Pero uh -huh. ahí, no hay, ahí no hay ache. Probably uh -huh. heart aches. Uh -huh. pero, 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 pero pain, yes. Oh, my soul. Yes. Pain. Yes, uh -huh. you can use it. Pero, pero así como algo de poesía, o sea, como uh -huh. que, o sea, Figures. o en una canción, yes. Ah, exactly, figure sense. 
That's correct. Uh, viewers. Okay. El shore. El sore. Sure. Sore is the. Sore. Ah, it's sore. Ah, sore. Yes. Uh -huh. Most of the times is with the with the sore, sore throat. Como un dolor de garganta, right? Una molestia. <clears throat> okay. So I have a sore throat. So, uh, it's like you know, a molest in los ojos and say you have sore eyes. Probably some eye drops and the problem disappears. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you can have, for example, uh, sore feet, un dolor de pies a veces, cuando uno ha caminado mucho. Eh? Uh, uh -huh, okay. when, uh, with a massage, with a massage or put them up, ponerlos hacia arriba, then it releases. Que alivia el dolor, right? Okay. okay. Teacher. Yes. Cuando, cuando este, se une eh, el edge eh, con un sustantivo, siempre se hace eso, porque en el ejemplo que usted puso, el edge va separado de stomach. Es de no, ah, no, ajá. De los niños. Porque estaba haciendo eh, énfasis. Stomach ache. Pero siempre va unido. Stomach ache. Headache. Ajá. En el ejemplo que, que puso el video de Dashai con uh -huh. Comprained Os and Age ah, ajá. In, pero in es que stomach. Ese, el Age va separado. Ahí sí, pero está al revés. No está unido. Se dice Comprained of an ajá. ache in the stomach. De un dolor en el estómago. No estómago, no dolor de estómago. Un dolor en el estómago es diferente a dolor de estómago. Right? Sí, so, so, ache in the stomach for stomach chest y si, ajá ajá ya ya y okay. siempre de, se, se, se puede escribir digamos verdad que no, no todo sustantivo se le puede agregar el h o si no no not todos right for example you can say for example uh, i have a knee ache for example, no, you have a you have a sore knee for example, por ejemplo las partes del cuerpo o, es decir no, no todas las partes se le puede agregar o sí. No. Eh, la mayor, de, most of the time, el sol va más para la garganta y de ahí para molestias que se puedan sentir en otra. Y el ache, remember that it's pain. Ok, backache, uh -huh. sore, uh, for example, backache, headache, earache, toothache. Eh, porque lo, lo que pasa es que hay dolor de muela, hay dolor de oídos, pero no hay dolor de boca. Uh -huh. Right? No hay un sí, dolor, sí. no hay un dolor ese, de, ajá. Este, y se pronuncia, este, ache. Hey, hey, ache. 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 Okay, continue with the practice, okay? Okay, good. All right. Podría ser... Eh, the two witches here. Ajá, pero yo, es que yo leí que se podría ser como shoot, algo así. She should stay in bed, por ejemplo. Que ella debería quedarse ahí. You should. Ajá. Uh -huh. Algo así noté, pero no sé. It's a suggestion. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Que anoté que, que decía, if, if she a cold, she should stay in bed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Ah, pues sí. Es para una tercera persona. She should stay in bed. <coughs> if, uh, if your sister has a problem, she should talk to your father. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you have a problem, talk to your father. Ese es un directo, right? Talk to. Don't talk mm -hmm. to... Don't talk to strangers. Okay. Ah. Okay, no questions? Uh, no. No, 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 no. Thank you. All right, very good. Thank you. Okay, practice the conversation then. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? No questions? No problem? No. Sure? Mm. Please que yo no he estudiado esa ayer no estuve en la clase uh -huh. 
y no he estudiado eso. Pero ella sí lo hizo muy, muy bien. Ok. <laughs> All right, good. But then remember that this one, the idea here is when you say, Ceci, for example, suppose, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine, okay. Ask me. How are you today? Oh, I have a, I have a backache. No, I'm okay, but I have a backache. And then Ceci said, okay, Luis, whenever you have, whenever I have a backache, this ella, right? I, uh, I take some, uh, what? Some uh, acetaminophen. I take some uh, Tylenol, okay? And then I say, oh, okay, thank you very much. And then Ceci says, ah, don't do exercise. Uh, rest, rest a couple of hours. And uh, stretch, stretch your body, okay? Stretch your body, that will help you, okay? And then you are practicing all the vocabulary. Con esas tres preguntitas, all right? Okay, teacher. Uh, for example, it's correct. Whenever I have a headache, mm -hmm. I take two acetaminophen and don't watch TV. Yes, I don't have. I take aspirin. I take Tylenol, and I don't watch TV. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Um, okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Good. Continue with the practice. Okay. Okay. Recomendaciones. You should take a, a nap and after that you take a nap, you can take a, a shower. Mm, eh, para fatiga okay. mental, porque ahorita ando más cansado mentalmente. You should take some vitamins. <laughs> Yes. ¿Qué tal? No problem. Uh, cansado, pero aquí está. Okay, good. Then you said, uh, well, you should uh, after class uh, go to bed. After class uh, rest or uh, take a uh, drink a tea. Okay, uh, green tea. Not to relax and sleep. Okay, so these are some recommendations, okay? Whenever I am tired, I go to bed early, and before I drink a tea, and then I sleep, okay? So these are recommendations, right? In using the vocabulary about health. Question, teacher. Mm -hmm. Este, y para, para, para cualquier cosa que uno se eh, sienta, solo podemos decir feel, o no podemos utilizar otro, otro verbo. Feel. Es la duda que tengo. Ah, bueno, cuando tengo o siento, right? Because uh, I have a headache. Ah, pues right? ocup... uh -huh. or I feel bad. I have a stomachache. O I feel a pain in my stomach. Ok. Por, por well, eso, esa era mi pregunta. Si uh -huh. aparte de feel, disculpe que lo interrumpa de me no, no, eh, este eso de utilizar happy y feel yo preguntaba si habían otros que podríamos utilizar aparte de esos creo que no me supe explicar no no that's okay o sea, a veces puede ser I am I am por ejemplo mm. I am uh, I am sick I am tired I feel tired I feel sick mm. eh, I have a headache algunos son más como más específicos. Por ejemplo, dejad, ¿no? Si tiene algo, ¿qué es lo que tiene? Un dolor, ¿dónde? Right? Eh, estoy cansado, a veces estoy tenso, I am stressed, ¿ok? Puedo usar I am, o el verbo directamente, ¿ok? Por es que esa yo... duda tenía, los mm -hmm. verbos. ¿no? Yes. You say, uh, my, you can say, for example, my, my chest, my chest hurts. Hurt. I went to the gym today. I went to the gym and now my chest hurts. Okay, me duele el pecho, right? So you can you can use that. Me duele el pecho. Uh-huh. 
Y en el caso, teacher, que yo le quiera decir que tome alguna medicina, alguna pastilla, uh -huh. sería, you should take. Uh, you, you can say take, you can say should, right? Or you can say, for example, uh, take a, take a, if you have a toothache, take anadem, okay? Or take, a, take aspirin, take Tylenol. Oh. Mm -hmm. Solo toma y azul. Ajá, yes. Like in Spanish. Ah, okay. Este es less formal. Es más, menos formal, right? Hey, tomate una nave, tomate una aspirina, right? O tómese, right? But, uh, and when you say you should, eh, te debería de tomar. Okay, you should take an aspirin. Te debería de tomar una aspirina. Es más formal. Esa es la diferencia. Pero el, el objetivo, la idea es la misma. Okay. Uh, question teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, entonces, uh, si yo tenía una duda sobre lo, de lo, el ejemplo que nos ponía ahí en la, en la clase virtual. Mm -hmm. Entonces, para toda clase de, de uh, medicamentos, uh, solo aspirin y otras tienen su nombre específico, pero si utilizamos acetaminofén y ibuprofeno, lo podemos decir así o ibuprofen, tenemos yes. que buscar. No, ibuprofen. Eh, acetaminofen, ahí lo que cambia creo que el acetaminofen se pone con pH en inglés Andale. y en español con F, igual de la ibuprofen, pues, esas son medicinas que, que no cambia mucho el, el, la... la pronunciación, ajá, inglés, español, la traducción, yes, okay. well, you, can, you can use ibuprofen or you can use acetaminofen, de, lo que pasa es que la aspirin es más común, preguntó, no, no, al contrario, que la idea es que quede claro, por eso hago los grupos acá y, y el repaso. No problem. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yes. Este, usted mencionó lo de cómo ponerse un trapo en la frente. ¿Cómo, cómo lo dijo? Ah, eso era de ice. Como hielo. Ice. Ice your head. Es como así oh, como gosh. ponerse hielo o compresas de agua fría. They call it, right? Eh, on the forehead. Podría escribirlo ice, en el chat. Ice your forehead. Ice. Hielo. Ice your forehead. Ice your... Por ejemplo, si, si le duele aquí, si tiene hinchado el hombro, ¿qué hace? Le pone hielo, ¿ah? ¿eh? Yes. Ice. Ok your shoulder okay as your shoulder three times a day right if in el pie o el tobillo eyes your ankle ponerse hielo y ahí se podría entender ponerse hielo o ponerse o puede ser como ponerse las compresas porque a veces es que nosotros usamos compresas ajá es ice actually it's ice lo que los nosotros usamos aquí porque a veces no tenemos la bolsa el gringo es más práctico, hagan ¿eh? las bolsitas de como que son ya vienen congeladas y se las ponen así bien, bien chivas. Pues, que uno se las pone ahí donde está inflamada y ahí está. Aquí nos toca con agüita y un trapito y, y estar mojando, ¿eh? porque no se encuentran. Ok, that's why they say ice. Question teacher. Yes. Una última. Este, yo entré muy tarde a la, a la conferencia. Va a subir el video de la clase para poderme meterme a YouTube porque... Sí, yo en la noche, ahí, ahí están ya, ahí están ya todos, yo la, después de esta clase, ya depende del internet, a las 11 ya más o menos, ya están, 11 y media están arriba, y ya en la mañana los pueden ver, pero sí, ya, al nomás terminar esta clase empiezo a, a subirlos, ahí depende cómo esté el tráfico para subir, But okay. 11, los, pero antes de okay, la final del día ya está, no problem. Okay, good. Thanks, thanks. Thank you very much.
Okay, good. Well, I could see that some of you had nice conversations. Some of you were uh, sharing good ideas, okay? And you were practicing the vocabulary, right? Uh, hicieron varias preguntas, that's good, okay? In la mayoría de grupos. So that's very nice. Okay, the idea is to, but uh, to have the 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 concept clear, and the most important thing is here to choose it and practice it in English. Okay, practice the oral practice. Okay, now we're going to go back to the platform. Okay, where we stopped last night. We have the uh, okay. Sorry. Now let's check. Okay. Let me see. We have the audio. And we have the image. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to play the audio and then uh, we're going to see the image. We're gonna play it two times. And then after we are going to answer these questions, we have four questions. Uh, where are they going? Okay, in the conversation one, where are they going in the conversation two? Where are they going in the conversation three? And where are they going in the conversation four? Okay, if you have a piece of paper, you can write your answers while you are listening. Okay. Page 89, exercise six, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes. It is. Teacher, casi no se oye. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant. Sí, casi no se oye. No se escucha, teacher. Okay. Eh, si lo puede poner desde el inicio, por favor, otra vez. First, let me. Lo voy a poner desde donde está ahorita, solo para probar el sonido y me. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Now? Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. Page 89. Exercise. Page 89. Okay. Exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. He and j supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. Okay, once more for 
listening, for practice, for pronunciation, okay? Page 89, exercise six, <clears throat> listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. <clears throat> I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes. It's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's Coffee Shop. Okay, thanks. Okay. Do you have the answers? Yes? Okay, in the number one, where are they going? The bank. The bank? Maria Restaurant. Maria Restaurant. Love Department Store. The bank. The bank. The bank. The bank? Yes. Bank. The bank. Okay. <laughs> bank. Good. What about the next one? Where are they going? David Drugster. David Drugster? Yes. Baby's rap store. Okay, good. How about the number three? Maria's restaurant. Where are you going, Maria's restaurant? Okay. Yes. Maria's restaurant, good. And the number four? Avery shoes. Favorite shoes. Okay. We have the answers. All of them correct. The bank, Davis Rockstar, Maria's restaurant, favorite shoes. Okay, 33 out of 32. That means 10. Okay, good. Now, questions about vocabulary from here? No? Remember the prepositions? ¿Se acuerdan de las preposiciones? Which ones? Across from? What was the other one? On the corner of. On the corner of, uh huh. What else? Behind. In from of. In front of. In the corner. On the corner of, yes. Across from. On. Between. Between. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahora, ¿quién dijo in front of? I. I right. uh, in front of and across from son diferentes, right? They are different. Okay. Across from is, for example, le voy a dar un ejemplo reales. Eh, todos conocen la UCA, right? Yes? yes. Okay. UCA is, and what is across from UCA? It's a call center, right? A call center, Getcom. Ah, Getcom, yes. Okay, Getcom is across from UCA, no in front of. Okay? 
Uh, okay. Then, in front of is, uh, in, for example, if you see here, can you see the mouse? Can you see the pointer yes. of my mouse? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's say that across from the, the gas station, okay, this gas station here is in front. Okay. El rotulo, right? Is in front of the gas station. Si volvemos a la UCA, al salir de la UCA, hay una parada de buses. Yes or no? Yes. Entonces, esa, esa parada de buses, ¿dónde está? In front of. Okay. Ahí se ocupa el in front of. Okay. okay. okay when you, thank you. Cuando ustedes van al cine, la persona que está delante de ustedes está in front of in or across? Front. In front. Y la pantalla? In front of. That's across from, right? Estamos face to face, right? But the person que la está aquí al frente es in front of, okay? Oh. O sea, de que, adelante de, right? Ah, o sea, que tiene que, o sea, across como un poco más lejos que in front of, es, algo así. Mm. No, across from es donde están face to face. Ah, ajá. Ok. Got it? Ok, yeah. All right, good. Ok, so then that, those are the words, right? Across from, on, on means over, right? Uca is on los Protest Boulevard. Está sobre los Protest. Eh, next to, next to Burger King. Eh, next to Burger King. Burger King sure. is next to Excel. Right? And Excel is next to the Hipotecario Bank. Okay? Uh -huh. Sure. Yes? Eh, repita lo de across from que no entendí la explicación que le dio al compañero. across from is eh, on the other side of the street ok for example here in the map you can see the part left department store is across from the park en frente del parque the movie is across from the park ok and this this is what you say for example across from uh, the supermarket probably across from from favorite shoes uh, i don't know what is this okay but this is across from uh -huh. the city bank is across from the movie the alice uh, maria's restaurant is across from the movie okay this is across from okay okay uh -huh. thank you teacher. Okay, so we have across from, uh, on, next to, next to, for example, the bank is next to Love Department Store. Uh, the bank is between the restaurant and the department store. Okay. Now, let's see. Good. Now, uh, Mauricio, uh, this Mauricio, I don't see your name properly here. Let me see. Ah, uh, Perez. Okay, Mauricio Perez, would you please read the objective here? Okay. Um, by the end of the class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additional, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. Now pay attention to this because this is what we're going to practice tomorrow, right? So how to give directions. Ask and give directions. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. 
Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. Let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or how can I get to? Then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up. Go up. Walk down. Go down. Turn left on turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when giving directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be, how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction would be, walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library? For that, we will use the vocabulary turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. So to answer that question, we will say turn right on 42nd Street. So what is the last step after turning right on 42nd Street? For that, we will use the vocabulary on the right or on the left. So in this case, it's on the left. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give directions using this map. Also, try to give directions to your local supermarket, hospital, school, park, etc. All right. Okie dokie. So we're going to do this. This is where uh, I already sent to the WhatsApp chat. 
the vocabulary that you need to memorize for tomorrow, okay? It's the one that you will see, for example, it's, uh, you see it says, for questions, how do I get to the supermarket? How do I get to Empire State Building? Uh, how can I get to? Uh, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right, on the right and on the left. And I will also um, thank you, but I need to take a, probably uh, the image of the conversation so that you can practice. Okay, so that's what we are going to practice tomorrow. All right. And uh, tomorrow we're going to finish section three and we're going to have a quick look to the, to the uh, test so that you can finish the test by Friday. Okay. So then uh, you can complete, don't forget to complete the platform exercises so that you can be ready to get your diploma. But this is the, the second week, right? So we have just two more weeks to go. Okay, everybody. So see you tomorrow. Take a rest and have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank good you, night, night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.